this looks like a really long question. Um, since you are both in collectives, can y'all please touch on the differences between having one or multiple collaborators on a beat as compared to you sampling them? Are the splits the same? Do the situations play out differently? Ooh, yeah, uh, I think we both have experience with samples, so. Um, <laughs> For sure. Yes. I would like to shout out that my first ever sampled record came from one of your kits back in the day on Facebook. Shout out to Pain for that. Oh, I, didn't, I had no idea what I was doing, and I got one of your kits back in the day and uh, and just used a couple of your samples in there. Shout out to Pain for that. And it was on cassette tape. No, it wasn't on cassette tape. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't on cassette tape. Um, okay, so in terms of... <laughs> I'll, I'll share my opinion. Um, when it comes to collaborating with producers, I would much rather be in a scenario in which you and I are collaborating and we get a placement than if I sample somebody because chances are the person that I sample, I don't know. And they might even be dead. And whoever owns the master is one person I have to negotiate with or the label has to negotiate with and whoever owns the composition, and that could be multiple people, that's another person that the label has to negotiate with. And so that conversation is happening, and I'm not even in the room. Yeah. So when I finally get my, uh, my post sample split, I might be cut out completely, and I didn't even realize what was happening. So when it comes to working with, even if I use a sample, you know, from like a sample kit or something, I can contact that producer and have a conversation with them directly. There are no surprises, and I want to. And, and there's actually a negotiation process because I feel like we're on a on a you know a, at least a, a more equal footing. Sometimes it's not like that though. I've dealt with producers who I'll say, "Hey, uh, I sampled you, um, or I used one of your samples. What kind of splits do you want?" Because there's no README file. I love when there's a README file where it just says, "This is what I want in Agreed. the event that you get placed." Um, and they'll say something like, uh, yeah, talk to my manager. I'm like, ah, oh, man, I don't want to. Nah, uh -uh. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not sampling you anymore. I can't do that. Um, I, I, I don't know. What's your experience been like with, with these sample packs and, and using them? Mostly it's good. Yeah, mostly mostly it's good. I've, I've ran into two that I've used that placed. And I just I reached out to the guy on Instagram. And it's with the same person, actually. Um, I reached out to him on Instagram and. He was like, bro, whatever you want to do. And I knew kind of like he probably hadn't had any placements or anything. And I was like, bro, look, we'll just do 50-50. And he was like, cool, bro, cool with me. I mean, I probably could have tossed him 10 and he'd have been cool with it. But I was like, no, we're going 50-50 across. So, I mean, it's only fair. Yeah, okay. So, what um, uh, <laughs> what informs your morality here where, like you said, you probably could have given him 10%, but instead you you gave him an even split. Why? Bro, you just gotta do right by people, man. Like it's it's so much in this industry, bro, where people people are, it's a lot of people. I won't say definitely not all, not even close to all, but it's so much like snake shit that kind of goes on in this industry and sneaky shit. And it's like I remember when I didn't know, and I'm still learning. So to just screw over somebody because they don't know is just not. I wasn't raised like that. I'm not gonna be that type of person. Never have been. Uh, if anything, I'll, you know, get the deal done and then I'll explain to him, bro, if another producer comes to you and asks you this, this is what you should, you know, what you should want. Because I'll get a lot of sample packs that don't have a readme in it at all. And it's like, bro, you can't, what are you going to say if he placed that record and it goes number one and you sitting in your car listening to the radio and you're like, oh, that's my sample. You know what I mean? So.